Section 6.2 Local and Average Convection Coefficient The learning goals for these sections are to define the local convection coefficient h of x which we already did but we are going to review the definition and define the average convection coefficient h and define the average convection coefficient h of x so we have two definitions for the average so that's the main objective of this section so let's consider that we have our plate and we have a fluid that is coming from the left at a velocity u infinity and a temperature t infinity so the boundary layer the thermal boundary layer is defined at the distance from the plate dt it is going to be defined as the distance of the plate at which ts minus t of y divided by ts minus t infinity it is equal to 0 0.99 so it is this distance y it is going to be equal to delta t at which this radio is equal to 0 0.99 so let's plot the thermal boundary layer so we have the thermal boundary layer it is uh, more or less like this so we have a distance x so at this distance x so we have this thickness so that's delta t and it is defined that the top point it is going to be equal to the temperature at that point is going to be equal to 0 0.99 t infinity and the temperature of the plate always is going to be ts having that definition so we can solve for h of x the convection coefficient for this point which is equal to minus ks the conductivity of the fluid sorry the fluid multiplied by the gradient of the temperature in the fluid with respect to y and divided by ts minus t infinity now to get an expression for this gradient let's consider these two points so dt dy can be at point x can be approximated as the difference in the temperature the delta temperature in this point t infinity minus ts divided by delta t so the gradient of temperature in this direction it is the difference of the temperature of these two points divided by this distance if we replace for dt dy so we obtain the following expression h of x equal to minus kf multiplied by t infinity minus ts divided by delta t and everything divided by ts minus t infinity now can we cancel anything here yes so on the top we have t infinity minus ts and on the numerator denominator we have ts minus t infinity so it is the same with the um, sign change so we can cancel this expression if we multiply by negative 1 this expression so we multiply by negative 1 so that's positive so we are left with h of x equal to kf 
divided by delta t. This expression is the local convection coefficient. We call it local heat transfer convection coefficient. And usually it is denoted as hx, like h sub x. Okay, let's move into the definition of average heat transfer coefficient. So we can consider the same plate. This is our plate. And now we are going to look into at this point x to some small area. So this is the area. So the whole area it is going to be equal to a and let's call it a s superficial area and it doesn't have to be a plate it could be any surface and we want to calculate the total heat transfer so the total heat transfer as we know the information for the convection coefficient in this point we can calculate the heat transfer at, of that section so that is going to be like dq equal to the heat flux multiplied by the as and to calculate the total heat transfer rate so we have to integrate over the total area we integrate over the total area and this is equal to q the heat transfer rate now the heat flux for this section can be computed using the local heat transfer convection coefficient in that way q it is equal to the integral over the total area of h x of x like a little bit redundant but so we know the um, notation multiplied by ts minus t infinity multiplied by das in this equation ts minus t infinity it is constant so we can factorize it outside of the equation so q it is equal to ts minus t infinity multiplied by the integral over the total area of h of x das the expression in the integral can be summarized as the multiplication of an average convection coefficient times the total surface area and with that definition we can write that q it is equal to ts minus t infinity multiplied by the average convection coefficient and multiplied by the surface area so one thing that we need to be sure when we um, do this approximation it is that uh, the units are the same so the units for h times the units of the area and, and this is exactly what we have in the integral so we define h of s multiplied by a of s equal to this integral let's go here to the definition so we have that h average it is equal to the integral of h of x multiplied by the as and divided by the total area now in the case of the plate so in the plate if we are assuming that has constant thickness we can define h average as 1 over l instead of the area 1 over l 
multiply by the integral of from 0 to L of h of x multiply by dx <coughs> now additionally we can define an average a partial average so we can define an average from this point to this point not the average over the whole plate but an average over the first section so the average over a section can be defined as h bar of x which is going to be a function of x so let me draw the plate so we have the x coordinate so we have we are going to have the average over the first section over that section and that average is called h bar of x and is equal to 1 over x multiplied by the integral from 0 to x now we don't do the integral up to the end that's the main difference and multiply by h of x dx so that's the average from 0 to x okay let's have an example of these three definitions in this example we have some experimental results that are showing us uh, are given us an expression for h of x and that expression it is h of x equal to alpha divided by square root of x where alpha is a coefficient, a real coefficient, and it has some weird units because it's watts divided by meters to them, three halves multiplied by Kelvin. So in such a way that the units are going to be the units of a heat transfer convection coefficient. And we need to find the average, the average x, and the radio of the average x over the local value h uh, h of x for this plate so let's draw the plate in this side so we have our plate and um, delta thermal so the thermal boundary layer is defined that way and h of x let me draw it in, in so this is h so h is this function which is 1 over the square root of x so that's going to be like at 0 is going to be like equal to infinity and then it is decreasing as x is increasing let's start by defining the average convection coefficient so the average by definition now we know that is going to be equal to 1 over L the integral from 0 to L of h of x dx so we have an expression for h of x so we can replace that expression so we have this is equal to 1 over L multiplied by the integral from 0 to L and h of x is equal to alpha divided by the square root of x dx so what is this integral equal to well one easy way it is to write in terms of fractions in the square root so 1 over l multiplied by the integral from 0 to l of alpha multiplied by x to the minus 1 half dx so now it is a standard polynomial integral so we have alpha it is a constant so we have alpha divided by L multiplied by the integral of x to the one half so that's going to be to the minus one half so that's going to be x to the minus one half plus one 
which is one half and divided one half and this is evaluated in between zero and L so this is equal to and the, we have a two one half in the denominator so the two goes to the numerator so we have two alpha divided by L is square root of L otherwise <coughs> we can write this is equal to the square root of L divided by L it is 2 alpha divided by the square root of L so we have two different expressions so let me write it here in clean so the average is equal to 2 alpha divided by the square root of L let's work on the x average so we have our plate again this is the plate and we are going to take the average from 0 to x so that average h bar of x is equal to 1 over x multiplied by the integral from 0 to l of h of x dx we have to do again the integral we already did and we found out that the integral it is this now the difference is that we are not dividing by l but by x so h of x average it is equal to 1 over x multiplied by 2 alpha square root of x otherwise equal to 2 alpha divided by the square root of x so h bar of x is equal to 2 alpha divided by the square root of x now let's see the two in context h of x which was given it was equal to alpha divided by the square root of x and we compute the average so the average it was equal to 2 alpha divided by the square root of l and we also this is the average and we also compute the x average so the x average and it was equal to 2 alpha divided by the square root of x so we can see them in the plot the difference in between h of x so this is h of x the local definition and the one in green is the average in x so this average remember that the average is defined as function of x and is the integral from 0 to x and the last question of the problem it is what is the ratio in between that average and the local coefficient so what is the ratio in between the green and the red so the average of x of x average of x divided by h of x so if we replace we have this is equal to 2 alpha divided by the square root of x and uh, h of x it is alpha divided by the square root of x so we can cancel few things so we can cancel the alpha and what we can cancel the 1 over the square root of x so the final result it is equal to 2 so that means that the difference in between the two coefficients it is 2 and we can see that the red one it is below of the green one so the green one is the result of multiplying the red one by 2 that's the basic definition that we find out final result for next class I want you to answer this question for this problem what is the average of x evaluated at L is equal to 2 is equal to 2 h average or is equal to 2 h of x of L or is equal to h see you next time